Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you an office glam makeup tutorial for this look. This is not a natural makeup look. This is definitely for those occasions where you may want to step it up just a little bit more and whether that's for the office or just for going out. I love how this look is very monochromatic. It's perfect for fall. In fact, this is the type of look that I would personally wear all year round, so it doesn't really matter. For my Australian and New Zealand audience, we are in spring at the moment, and I think this look is also perfectly appropriate for spring. So I've prepped my skin in the same way that I showed you guys in my skincare update video, so if you haven't seen that, check that out. Now I'm going to go in to first color correct. I'm using a Live Tinted in the shade Rise. I'm going to apply that underneath my eye area. This formulation is so thin, I feel like I don't even have to tap it into the skin. I can just sort of very gently apply it directly to my under eye area and I don't even need to tap it with my finger. It really kind of blends itself out. And I'm also going to apply it around my mouth area. Now for my mouth area, I am going to tap it in. Next, I always use a liquid highlighter to apply on the sides of my cheeks. So today I'm going to use the M Cosmetics in the shade Halo. It does come with a, a little poofy applicator thing, but I'm going to use my brush from the Spectrum Kitty Hughes collaboration number six, which just looks like this. And I'm going to pat this brush directly into the cushion to pick up some product. And then go ahead and apply that. You can see that to my cheek area tap some more it's got a nice golden color really enjoy this underneath my foundation this also works really well on top of foundation it doesn't move my cream products around it's a beautiful product and now I'm gonna jump into foundation application. So I'm gonna use my Holy Grail foundation, which is the Dio Forever Skin Glow Foundation. My shade is 3 Warm Olive. It's gonna give it a nice shake. And I'm going to kind of just apply that all over. Then I'm gonna take my favorite foundation brush, which is the Hourglass. It's called the Hourglass Foundation Brush. And it doesn't have a number. And then I'm just going to smooth this out. For those of you that are looking for a really good foundation brush that is synthetic, this is really amazing. Irrespective of it being synthetic or natural hair, to be honest, this is amazing. It just really helps to buff that foundation into the skin really, really quickly. You, you don't have to spend a lot of time working it into the skin. It's just super quick and easy. So I'm going to finish all this off of camera. So I've smoothed out all my foundation. Now, if you wanted to, you can always go back in and apply more product in the areas you have a little bit more pigmentation. So I generally don't like to apply full coverage foundation on my mouth. I don't really mind seeing some of that pigmentation showing through. I would rather have less product on my skin than pile on a lot of makeup to try and conceal that. So. It just whatever your preference is i'm kind of okay for some blemishes and some pigmentation to peek through so my lips are feeling dry so i'm just gonna pop on the rare beauty lip balm lip gloss hybrid i'm using the shade nearly neutral what i've been loving about this product is it kind of works like my dior maximizer without the tingling and the sensation is that if i have dry lips and i pop this on when I do my makeup, it will soften the dry lips. So when I go in to apply my lipstick, my lips will feel nice and hydrated, which is amazing. Uh, I would normally use my Dior Maximizer for that, but this is definitely an affordable version. This is what that looks like. It looks super natural on my lips. So now I'm gonna go into applying concealer and I feel like using one of my favorite concealers, which is the Pat McGrath in the shade LM13. Normally I would use LM14. It looks a little bit more natural on me, but it does tend to enhance the green under my eyes. And uh, LM13, although is a little bit of a brightening concealer for my skin tone, for an office glam look, it's a better shade for me. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a bit. I'm just gonna use my finger to tap it. 
I would use my Rare Beauty brush that I recently purchased for this, but I ended up using both conce a liquid concealer and a powder with it, and it's all caked up, so I'm going to have to give it a wash before I use that again. I knew that was going to happen, but I wanted to test it for both ways anyway. And that is LM13. And I'm not going to bother with um, concealer all over my eye because we're going to be using a product that doesn't require concealer or even primer underneath. Oh, I might have applied too much product. Does that happen to you? Do you apply that one side, you apply the perfect amount of concealer and then on the other side, you always end up applying more? It's so annoying. Next up, I'm going to take my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. I have the shade Blondie, which is quite a yellow powder, but it kind of works for me. I have really deep set under eye circles and I find that this powder, although it's a little bit too yellow perhaps, still works really well for me. And I'm going to use a Spectrum Katie Hughes brush in, in number 7. This is what it looks like. It's like a very densely packed brush. And I've been using it as powder application. It works really well. So I'm going to pick up just from the cap a little bit of product on this brush. And all I'm doing, give it a final pat to make sure there are no creases, is I'm just going to press it into the skin. Pick up some more. Now for the eyes, I'm going to be using Ellie's Fast Cream Eyeshadow. So this is a shade E127. This is such a beautiful color. It has that ginger undertone. It's beautifully warm, perfect for fall. This is going to be the primary look. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a good amount of this pretty much all over my eye. There we go. You can see how richly pigmented this color is. It's just incredibly beautiful. And then I'm just going to tap this with my finger and spread it. Oh my God, it's so creamy and beautiful and rich. And all I'm doing is applying this all over the eye. That is it. How easy was that? And all we need to do after this is kind of just blend out the edges. And I'm going to use MAC 217 to blend the edges out. So just going to take this on the side and just going to diffuse out those edges. And it will blend right out. What I love about these is that you don't need to, you don't need a primer. You don't even need concealer underneath because these are so beautifully, richly pigmented that they will completely show up on brown skin without you requiring a concealer on your eyelids. They will also not crease. So I can go a whole day. I've tested these for up to nine hours and they do not crease on my eyelids at all, even without a primer because they set down and they are just incredible. So this is really it. This is all I do when it comes to this beautiful eyeshadow. You can pull it out a little bit more if you wanted to. Another great thing about these is that there's a lot of play time. So they're not going to set on you straight away. You have some time to manipulate the color, to go ahead and blend. It's just flawless. Now I'm going to take the same color but now on a pencil brush. So something like this. And this is Wayne Goss number 05. I'm going to pick up a little bit of product that's just on the wand here and run that underneath the eyes. I'm going to start off with a little bit and then of course build as I need it. These are also really great with layering. So even if you small with, start with a small amount of product, you can always go back in and add more. Obviously, this is a cream eyeshadow, so I have zero fallout, which is amazing. Next up, I'm going to use 
a nice rich uh, deep brown pencil this is nude stick in the shade coco really really love this product it's nice and creamy blends out quite easily as well so i'm just going to line just at the top here with this product it's a bit messy because i cannot line my lies looking <laughs> sideways into a mirror i have to look straight but that's okay we're just gonna roughly just smudge it out at the base so I have now smudged the Nude Stick Coco pencil just at the top of the lash line there and also in the lower lash line. And now what I'm going to do, there's a third step that I like to do. It's to take, you could either take a really dark brown eyeshadow, something similar to the Nude Stick Coco color. You can take black if you want to. I want to keep this eye look a little bit soft, so I'm not going to take black. But instead, I'm going to take something that is close. I'm going to take the mac powder kiss eyeshadow i've got a single here in give a glam it's a beautiful color it's almost like this aubergine deep brown it's cool tone it's it's such an interesting shade so i'm going to take the spectrum brush in number 23 which has got just that little flat edge there i'm going to pick up that eyeshadow And all I'm going to do is kind of stipple it right at the base of the lash line. And what I love about this eyeshadow is adds a really nice rich payoff on top of that brown pencil. You don't have to do this step. I do find that the eye looks tend to look better if you do. So that's with the eyeshadow, without the eyeshadow. And then I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to apply this really at the root of the lower lash line. And having using a thin brush is great because you're really only targeting just the lash line and not the area underneath. Now for eyebrows, I have been absolutely loving the Huda Beauty Brow Pencil and the new Brow Gel this is amazing i've purchased the darkest shade which is black it's a cool tone black that's amazing and it's actually a black and not i don't know gray so really love this it's also super super thin i wasn't sure that i was gonna like anything that was gonna be this thin just because i have slightly more fluffier brows but this product just works so with shade number eight all i do is i go ahead and just fill in lightly the areas i want to fill in for my brows i definitely like to fill in this top area and all i'm doing is very softly back and forth applying this color and I love how it darkens my brows straight away and it looks natural. And I always like to match my brows to my hair. My hair is really dark and so consequently I like my eyebrows to be dark as well. I love that this pencil is really soft. Although it's very thin, it doesn't break on me. It applies beautifully. I don't have to tug or apply too much pressure. It's fantastic. This is one of those brow pencils that I think if you're someone who doesn't have full brows and is has sparse brows and really want to create the really thin hair-like effects, you can achieve that with this pencil. Now that I've got my brows filled in, I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Fluff Bomb Brows Fluff and Fluffy, not Fluff and Fluffy, Full and Fluffy Brow Gel. I got the shade 8 and this is perfection. First of all, the wand is super, super thin. If I compare this to my MAC, my favorite fiber brow gel is the MAC and there's a huge difference in terms of wand. So there you go. You can see how Huda Beauty is super, super thin. Uh, the great thing with having a very super thin wand is that you have a lot of control. Also really great for people that have really thin brow hair because you're not going to get that product everywhere. And so I've been really, really loving this. It gives me the look of the fluffy brows without looking too heavy. It also has a slightly wet formula that does set down and it pretty much becomes transfer proof. If you run your fingers through it afterwards, you won't be able to 
get this product off the brows. It has nice hold, it makes them nice and dark without looking like there's actually a lot of product on your brows. And I can really kind of catch those little tiny hair right at the end of my brows with this because it's so thin. It still looks very, very natural. I love it. I love it. I'm going to go with Huda Beauty Glowish Bronzer in the shade Deep Tan. I'm going to pick this up with this beautiful brush. This is Spectrum with Katie Hughes number no. 4. It's a dual fiber brush, so you can kind of see that it has really sort of really thin bristles at the top. And what I love, these two are like match made in heaven. It picks up just the perfect amount of product for this bronzer because this bronzer is quite deep for me and it's creamy so if i go in with a big brush i can actually apply a lot of product too quickly and this one is just i just glide the top right there pick up some product it fits my face shape really well as well and then all i need to do is just back and forth and it just perfectly blends and applies this bronzer look at that it just gives you that that touch of color course you can pick up more product which is what I'm going to do and go back in to build up that intensity there we go oh so beautiful I love this bronzer so skin like and smooth and creamy it's just perfection applying this to my forehead as well For my lips, so I'm going to apply my lip color first and then I'll adjust with a blush. So the lip color I'm going to use is by Kaleidos Makeup. This is their Cloud Lip Paints. They are beautiful, by the way. This is a shade called Terra. I have bought eight of these, so I'm planning on doing a swatch and review video for you. Definitely, because these are actually really stunning. And they're almost... Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I mm, love this color. They're almost 95% transfer proof. They are perfect under a mask. They don't sink into the lips and exacerbate my dry lips or anything like that. They're such a great moussey formula. Now for blush, I am going to keep this monochromatic and I'm going to take the shade Passion from M Cosmetics. Gorgeous, gorgeous color, but I am going to use a very small amount because I want the majority of this focus to be on the eyes and the lips. I don't want heavy blush application. So I'm going to pick up the, the Spectrum brush with Katie Hughes number 03, which is another duo fiber brush. And I'm going to pick up a small amount just on this and then very lightly apply that to the cheek. And I'm going to build this in small layers until I have the perfect amount that I want for my cheeks. So instead of going in heavy and then trying to take away, we're just going to build very, very slowly. And I'm already starting to see color. Can you see that? It's so beautiful. I'm going to pick up maybe just a little bit more. And so I've got the blush and now I'm gonna go and take all this shine from my face I'm gonna add some powder and I'm gonna go with my holy grail Charlotte Tilbury powder I'm gonna pick up spectrum brush number zero two which looks like this you can use this for blush or for powder. I've been enjoying this for powder quite a bit. And so I'm just going to pick up some and then apply that to my pore area. Now I do have some cheek texture right here and I could apply some powder there just so that it doesn't stand out so much. I'm just going to tap it right here there we go so if you have some cheek texture just know that with dewy products they will stand out whereas if you add a little bit of powder on there 
it will be okay. So I'm gonna do the same here. For highlighter, I'm gonna go with Kosas. So this is the high intensity color and cream in the shade Velvet Melon. It is beautiful. I'm gonna pick up just a small amount of the Kosas highlighter, trying to avoid the area where I have that texture. Otherwise, we're going to highlight that back up. So I'm just going to apply that right here in a downward motion. And that's it. See that? So I'm not going to bring it here because this is where I have texture. So I'm going to keep it really high up just in this area. Oh, so beautiful. Oh my God. And apply just at this temple area. A little bit on the nose. Oh my God, do you see that? It's so beautiful. Hey guys, so this is the final look. My hair will definitely stick to that highlighter there. Yep. <laughs> So here's the lip. Seriously? Like, what? Seriously? Are you kidding me? You saw I applied a lot of pressure. And that's all you can get. So I think that's like 90-95% no transfer. That's nothing. And so this lip product is amazing. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a comment section below and let me know what other makeup tutorials are you interested in and I will look to film those for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.